7 News is on your side and we are helping you navigate artificial intelligence, especially if you're looking for a job. I recently participated in the Voice and AI conference and learned some companies are now using AI to conduct interviews. And you might have to impress a virtual human before you ever get the chance to talk to a real human. The technology is impressive, but it is not perfect. And if you're not prepared, it could end up being a roadblock. So what I'm going to do is scan the QR code first. Yep. Okay. I got to test out a sample of the artificial intelligence technology being developed by Veritone. I'm about to show you the power of plugging MetaHuman into AI. Ready to play a game? We test out the technology yes. using a game called Where in the World is Kate? She gives me clues and I try to guess where she is but it doesn't quite go as planned. I miss what she said. Can I ask her to repeat it? Uh, yeah, try it. See what she says. Can you repeat the clue? Come on. You've had enough clues so far. <laughs> I don't think she likes me. <laughs> <laughs> she likes, I can tell. This AI has a personality and she is saucy. It threw me off and she was reluctant to give me more clues until I started making random guesses. France. I'm sorry, but I am not able to make phone calls or contact anyone outside of this chat. Remember, I was in a busy and loud lobby during the Voice and AI conference. So keep in mind that if you find yourself face to face with an AI meta human during an interview, it's a good idea to be in a quiet space. The capital city of this country is Brussels. Oh. Like the sprouts, but much less gross. Belgium. I finally got it right, but if I were competing for a job, I don't think this interaction would have put me at the top of the list. But it is a necessary step for large companies. Have another go. And sometimes we'll have like 800 to 900 resumes, right? So for a human to go through 800 resumes would take quite a long time. But we can build up on the platform to converse with the person to answer certain questions and say, you know, are you capable of doing this? Are you capable of doing this? Now we can narrow that 800, 900 resumes down to 100. Then we can do another batch of questions to narrow that 100 down to 10. Who better to ask about acing an interview? interview with a digital human than artificial intelligence itself. I went to ChatGPT to ask for tips and it had a lot to share, including practicing having conversations with AI, which you can do with virtual assistants like Alexa or Siri. And listen actively. ChatGPT suggests paying attention to the AI's prompts and questions carefully. That's where I went wrong. No more clues until you guess another country. <laughs> this is not helpful. I don't know what the other clue was. I missed it. And Jerry Gunguza with Veritone tells me that with a lot of the AI interviews that you'll see in the future, you'll mostly encounter yes and no questions. Very simple. But this is technology that's going to get more advanced, so I would not be surprised if it goes more in depth in the future. We have more tips on our WGLA homepage, along with another AI story about how to get your resume noticed by AI.